Right, just coming. Good afternoon on what is a cool, bright and sunny day. It is Friday the 14th of October. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And instead of a package or box of books or games to unbox, I have a bag of games and books to unbag. And I've not even been to a convention. Uh, in fact, I've not even been out anywhere to buy any games. Uh, this is all down to uh, my partner, Louise, taking a trip out to Worcester, where she came across this uh, establishment out of this world in the delightfully named um, uh, street named The Shambles. Um, and it had a collectible section, lots of comics, lots of toys, uh, dating back sort of like 50, 60 years. And some role-playing items. So what did I pick up? Because while she was there, thanks to the wonders of technology, uh, she could, um, and, 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 and her mobile phone, uh, let not just me know, but my friends know what was there and find some things that they might be interested in. So, uh, pulling apart what we've got out is... Monsters. Uh, this is the best three supplement for uh, RuneQuest 3rd edition. Uh, the Avalon Hill version, uh, and this is the edition published by Games Workshop in uh, the uh, mid, uh, mid, uh, sort of like mid 80s. Um, so, yeah, you essentially had uh, Ring Quest, Advanced Ring Quest, The Monsters Book, um, Griffin Island, as well, uh, as well, and a couple of books or so in the range. Quite a slim volume, um, but all nicely illustrated. Um, I think there's some colour plates in here as well. Yeah, there we go. And then we come to uh, Slaves of Slaves of Demon, uh, which is an intergalactic. Uh, sorry, uh, Slaves of Devron. Sorry, Slaves of Devron, which is an intergalactic quest. It's a solo adventure book. Uh, it's not one I've come across before. Uh, it was inexpensive. Uh, there's the, the other titles in the series, and as you can see, fairly slim, not a lot of choice uh, in terms of its storytelling, um, but, you know, worthy of, you know, if you're interested in um, uh, solo adventure books of the period, then worthy of a look. Um, the set, other one in that range was Kidnap in Space, uh, so that was the second one. Uh, and then um, the Sea Elves, a supplement for ElfQuest, uh, a complete culture for ElfQuest, uh, published what, mm, would have been 1985, something like that, from Chaosium. Um, but, uh, and then some Call of Cthulhu supplements, the first of which um, is uh, Green and Pleasant Land, uh, which is the Call of Cthulhu Supplement Games Workshop published in 1987 for um, the United Kingdom. And I have to say, very good it is too. Have a look at the cover there, really nice, subtle, sort of like um, uh, cricket pitch. Um, you know, got the rough there. Um, just just the, sleeve, the, you know, the tentacle reaching out the snake around uh, the cricket ball. Um, and uh, it's a really nice book. This is in nice condition. I have reviewed this, I've already done, I've got done an unboxing of this already, um, which you'll see um, very soon. Uh, but if you're a fan of Call of Cthulhu, back in the day, this was, this was one of the books that you really wanted if you are in the UK, because it provided so much information for playing in the 1930s and 1920s for Call of Cthulhu, plus it had some good scenarios in there. And then uh, the other one, the other Games Workshop title was um, The Vanishing Conjurer. Okay. And then the statue of the sorcerer. Um, it was a flip book, so basically an ace double cover book. And this was uh, the f um, essentially um, these. Well, this is the third scenario supplement which Games Workshop published um, for Call of Cthulhu. The previous two would have been Nightmare in Norway, was the second, and the first one was the gloriously titled. Um, on the Trail of the Lothian Slime, still, I contend, the greatest title of any role-playing supplement 
ever. Uh, and certainly the, the, the most punctastic uh, title earning role playing supplement ever. Um, but this has got two scenarios in it, um, whereas they only had one set firmly in the 1920s, one in, in London, and then one um, in uh, San Francisco. But, uh, and I reviewed all that because I've reviewed all of the Call of Cthulhu content that Games Workshop published back in the day. Next and finally, we have Liking, Lurking Fears. Uh, an anthology of um, scenarios for Call of Cthulhu, licensed for Chaosum, published by Triad Games. Uh, um, well, I don't have a date on this, but this would have been uh, presumably in the 90s. Uh, I will actually dig into this, uh, give it a proper unboxing and a review at some point. Um, but if you do get the chance um, to go to Worcester, do find out of this world. You may find a bargain or something really good in there, um, certainly in this case, um, this is a bargain, and this was them basically given their condition. They're really nice, ni 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 nice condition books. Um, lovely pieces of Call of Cthulhu history as well, um, and um, so yeah, this is uh, out of this world in the shambles in Worcester. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't do mail order. It doesn't do mail order. Doesn't e doesn't eBay. So you've got to go there in person. Um, but, uh, I will certainly pos I will probably be popping along there soon. Yeah, given you know, but uh, as Worcester is not that far away from where I am. Anyway, um, that's out of this world in um, in Worcester, and um, these are some of the fantastic books that my partner picked up for me. So um, these will have homes very soon. Um, some of them I'm keeping. The Call of Cthulhu I'm not because I've got I've got it all. Um, well, I've got all of those books. I wouldn't say I've got all of Call of Cthulhu, um, although I do have a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this unbagging uh, in the nook. If you have, then um, please do click on the like button down below. And of course, uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time uh, to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted of yet more, well, usually unboxings in the nook, um, where you'll see me out here, typically with a parcel or a, a, a box from which I will unbox a game or book, such as this, or this, um, and uh, talk about it to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes. So all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea, Uh, then please do click on the like button, sorry, on the subscribe button down below. In the meantime, check out um, at, uh, Out of This World, especially if you're in Worcester. Um, at, uh, worth a trip, Worcester's a nice little town, um, and plus, um, you know, at, uh, it's always fun to uh, peruse um, a comic and collectibles shop. Once again, thank you very much for watching and unbagging in the nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.